Well, Ben, uh, behind me is 70 Clover Street. We're in a quiet residential neighborhood, and the house is actually directly across from an elementary school. Now this home is the primary scene of a double murder. Two 17-year-old boys, both Windsor residents, were arrested and charged with murder and assault. Due to their age, they're not being identified. Many interviews throughout the day that led us to the arrest of two 17-year-old male juveniles. 5.42 a.m. Monday, investigators made the gruesome discovery inside the one-story ranch. Two deceased women, and the third party is the person who called us. Uh, He's a male party. He's currently in the hospital being treated for critical wounds. The victims, 78-year-old Sandra Marcy and 55-year-old Marianne Zarenka. Police wouldn't say how they are related, what led up to the murder, or even how they were killed. And we're still waiting for the ME to, to, to give us some specifics. Uh, we expect that to be done either today or tomorrow, we hope. But Fox 61 did talk to neighbors. I was in the service and I thought I saw a lot of stuff, but I never saw this. They told us the women were mother and daughter, well known in the community. Very nice. I mean, Sandy owned the Windsor Optical in town until it closed, you know, and Mary Ann was very nice. I mean, I didn't talk to him too often, but Sandy would be sitting out in her driveway over there on her chair reading a book during the summer. Very nice. Talked to her all the time. Fox 61 has this exclusive video of detectives bringing out bags of evidence and the DPW searching storm drains. It was trash pickup day. But it can't, it can't help to check anywhere where something could have been discarded. With the scene processed on Clover Street, the investigation now turns to this home on Arrowbrook Road. Police, though, won't say how it's connected. There are other locations that we're, we're still investigating at. As a community copes with loss. Our sincere condolences from Angela and I. That's about all I got for you. The neighbors here in Windsor at ease, police are telling us that they do not, or they do rather, believe that this was an isolated incident with no reason to believe that any neighbors or anybody in the community is at any further risk. Reporting live in Windsor, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.